Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with a very, very brief article and nothing with, uh, I don't want to say it's, you know, not worth posting, but it is to me because, you know, people keep buying into this left-right thing, man. I mean, yes, there's real socialists, yes, there's real conservatives, and I've said to many people to go with a socialist party or go with the libertarian party, but to please just stop talking about GOP and and the DNC, okay? They are not conservative and liberal. But let me get to this. Mysterious Bush-Bush-Obama meeting at the Oval Office this morning. And this was January 30th, 2010. Uh, it says Bre uh, President Barack Obama hosted a pair of Bushes this morning in the Oval Office. Former President George Herbert Walker Bush and his son, former Go uh, Florida Governor Jeb Bush. Two weeks ago, Jeb's brother, former President George W. Bush, was at the White House talking about the Haiti relief uh, with Obama and ex-President Bill Clinton. The White House described it as a social call, but feel free to speculate. Jeb's Bush presence was unexpected. The White House had, hadn't said anything about him being invited. It's all very bipartisan. The Bushes were at the White House for just over a half hour, emerging in a drive, driving snow that over the next few hours will blanket the Capitol with several inches of fluff. Good meeting, good meeting, the elder Bush, 85, and walking with a cane said in response to a question called out by a reporter. Bush, the elder, uh, he hosted Obama at the Texas A&M a few months back at an event celebrating community service and volunteerism, which is philanthropy and whatnot. It's what the elites uh, are all about, philanthropy. Uh, and marking the 20th anniversary of his Points of Light project. And then it's like this article, I was almost not going to post it, and then I started reading the comments here. And just check this out. This one's a duh. Obama's hoping that he can get one or both former Bush presidents to come out in favor of his health care plan and the process uh, and swing public and congressional opinion back in his favor. Either one of them would be a fool to stick his neck out for Obama. He's got... Well, maybe, I know, well, he isn't. But these guys, this is what I'm saying, people. Pull your heads out of your asses. These guys don't give a shit about conservatism. They're both fascists. Liberals, or not liberals, but Democrats, they're fascists. They both, the, the Republicans and Democrats, both want this stupid fucking health care bill, okay? It's going to eventually get passed. Everybody knows that. Ron Paul knows that. The left knows that. And, uh, cause, you know, because Sinish knows that. It's just a matter of, you know, like I, like I was thinking about this earlier, without going into the whole stupid healthcare thing, because, like I said, it's eventually going to get passed. Um, it's just a matter of how much they can suck out of the taxpayer, right? And um, so it has nothing to do with healthcare. I mean, could I honestly say that I know for sure? No. But it's just like you get an article like this, and then you read the comments, and people are like, oh, duh, it's, he wants to rally support from the conservatives. And it's like, dude, the insurance companies help write the fucking health care bill, okay? It has nothing to do with conservative or liberal. The only thing is that the, is that the Republican Party needs to give the illusion that they're conservative. So they have to say, oh, we don't – we're not for killing babies, man. We don't want to have people have to be forced at gunpoint to pay for killing little babies, man. You know, And it's not that we, we don't believe in it you know, because I'm a, I'm a Skull and Bones member. And so you know, Skull and Bones members, we're, we're on both sides. We're not we, – we don't give a shit about left or right. We don't believe in that. you got Skull and Bones members that are on the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, okay? Do you understand that? Do you get that? It has nothing to do with that, left or right. And let's read another one. One of the Bushes had better endorse Obama's plan to help fix the mess their idiot sons and brothers made. Seriously, the Bushes need to redeem themselves and not go down in history that a primary cause of ensuing disaster. And say that's what it's all about. It's just people are so delusioned right now. And like I was thinking earlier as well, I was like, you guys need to pull your asses, pull your asses. You need to pull your head out of your asses because you're going to wake up on your fucking backs broke with no home. Okay, do you understand that? The bankers are coming for you. So wake up.